Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a little tips and tricks video about how to actually change some settings in the Google search. When you go on Google and do a search, there are things you can actually change in the settings of the search results. And here's how. So for example, search for, so I'm going to search for Twitter, I don't know why, but here we go. Now we have results with websites and of course news stories of every kind all sorts of things here but on the top when you did that search there were some options and you see here you can search all you can search in news images videos maps whatever but you've got settings if you click on settings you have search settings that are available these search settings of course there's something called safe search safe search is for example if you have children and they are searching on Google about different little things, by turning on safe search, they will actually block inappropriate or explicit images and they'll try to um, remove and avoid as much as possible of um, any content that is something that should not be appearing. Also, you have Google Instant Predictions. What are those? Instant predictions is when you start typing and you notice that the Google page results already appear below it. It is a useful feature because you can already see if your search has given a, a, a cool result that you want to see. But it can also slow down your PC on some computers. So you can actually click never show instant results. That means you'll have to, of course, um, check out what is going to be searched after you press the enter key to actually search for it. Then you've of course you can customize the results per page, the more results that you want. Uh, here's a little tip on the results per page. If you do a search the correct way, I can tell you one thing is that the first 10 results are usually pretty much what we want. Google is amazing and giving us what we really want to look at. But you need to have the correct way of asking for a search result. But of course, if you want to have more, you can change that to up to 100 results per page. Uh, then you have private results that will actually find content more relevant to you depending on the type of information and of personal data that Google has on you and of course you can have different other, other options like uh, speak answers for voice search spoken search uh, where results open if you want you can actually uh, put a check mark here that means instead of having you know to go back because that's one of the things you go into a search you click a link then you have to go back with the back button and it doesn't work always very well. Well, what's cool with this check mark here, open each selected result in a new browser window. That means your results are going into a new browser window and the main browser window that has all the uh, search results are it's, it's not changed if you want. And then you have, of course, the search history that you can actually turn on or off. And you can also view your search history at any time to see what you Google knows about your search. And of course, at the end, you just click the Save button and uh, all of these new uh, results will appear. Now, word of caution, uh, this works mostly if you have a Gmail account. There are some options that are not available in this, um, you know, in these settings if you're not on logged on to a Gmail account while you use it. So this was a little tips and tricks video for how to change settings in the Google search. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.